If there is one platform that's been making a lot of buzz, it's one thing. The ICO sold out pretty fast. And they've been developing this system. Now, there is something I'm seeing as a trend in crypto. It's what we call the ecosystem stuff or the community. So now, you see new, new not only help with the building of systems, but also help in the funding. And I see that if you if you look at let's say Ethereum for example, most of the platforms that are launching in Ethereum are independent platforms. If you watch most of them, most of them are crap. There is a pro and there is a con. But if you look at new most times, the platforms that are being launched, new sometimes invested them and I think that is where blockchain is going to be. So let's see what one chain is all about. One chain is very very simple. What one chain wants to do is that one chain wants to connect the financial world, wants to connect industries and then wants to connect blockchains that is what one chain wants to do connect blockchains as you can see they connect the financial world and also connect uh industry so they call it the industry chain now they've been in development since 2015 they focus on privacy within smart contracts and then it will support icus and many stops so who is behind uh, the platform? You have Jacques Liu, the co-founder of Phantom, and then the founder of Waluk Tech. So if you really do a, a deep research on the founders, like Phantom is one of the uh, coin that uh, in the notarization domain, and it has been a very uh, successful coin so far. And then Dustin Brighton, Founded the Bitcoin College in 2015, co-founded Tendon Mint in 2015, and then founded Satoshi Talent and S Stokens Version Capital. So you are talking about people who are who have experience. You know, when I go through a, a project, whether it's an ICO or any project, the first thing is I don't care what you want to do. I simply come and say, okay, who is this guy? Who is behind the thing? I say, wow, okay. If I don't, if the team does not carry weight, uh, most times I don't even bother to look at what they want to do because no matter how good an idea is, the question is, who is going to pull this thing through? That is a very, very big question you have to be asking. So the idea is very good. Connect blockchains, connect the financial world, and also connect industries. Okay. And they have the partnership with the Kimba Network. It's a very, very good one. So the partnership with um, the partnership with Kimba Network is on twofold. Liu Liu joins Washington as an advisor, and then uh, Kimba Network will build a decentralized and trustless exchange on the. One chain platform. So this exchange is going to be called KWS. So it will enable instant conversion of crypto assets with uh, guaranteed liquidity. I think many of these platforms, every blockchain now wants to build their own decentralized application. You have uh, Matrix AI wants to build, they're collaborating with um, Bitgame to build ADES. Um, you have Neo coming to build um, the next exchange and uh, Switching your, I think Apple is there. Then you have uh, Bitcoin, no, sorry, Ethereum. Ethereum having Ether data and all that. Am I wrong? Is Ethereum that have an Ether data? But Ether data is basically for exchange of uh, tokens and all that. And then, why should we collaborate with K by Network on the Peace Relay project? That is a very, very good one. And then you have the Austin blockchain uh, partnership, right? So the Austin blockchain partnership to team up with several enterprises in crypto projects to advance blockchain education in the local community and support, manage, and grow the overall ecosystem. Now, the reason I'm bringing this, um, all these services, 
it is everybody knows what one uh, watch what uh watching is seeking to do watching is this watching is it watching is it but the question is how are you gonna do it who is behind the team the team is there then the other thing is to be able to do that who is willing to work with you if you look at blockchain most times and many of these patterns of which you will get to let me know explain so uh the austin blockchain collective partnership it means they want to bring in people that will help with the education and all that so the initial participant of, the initial participant of this ocean blockchain collective will be um wang chain multi-coin capital lighthouse partners decrease timid algebraic data serious and um many many platforms so they've been dating, uh, attending many um blockchain conferences and all that but you know there are two things we have the blockchain conferences and we have the meetup now most time blockchain conference the people that attend are people who are in, within the blockchain space but what about if we start organizing meetup like just like the austin initiative right people can come with get them on blockchain start picking interest and you can start building systems it's very good one. So you have the one chain incubator. So like you have uh, iconic lab is trying to launch an incubator. So the one chain incubator is very simple. The incubator we guarantee two things: it's going to provide technical support, and it's going to also provide financial support. So just like new, I'm I'm perceiving this platform is going to be very very big. And to me, um, this incubators that they launch most times i really like it because if you look at new let's is it city of zion city of zion.org so if you look at um new for example the people that i new invested in and all that all the platforms that have been launched in new you can see them here right and if you watch you hardly see crap projects. No, we're not talking about scams now. You hardly see people like it's very easy for someone to launch a scammy ICO on new. Uh, sorry, on Ethereum. I'm not saying that, but most of the platforms are really scam. But if we look at this platform like new, there is a little bit of regulations on the platforms that are launched most times. And you can see the platforms that have been launched. Are you talking about ZP, a very good project, Trinity? Um, the kill very good project tall at least q link ontology um p atlas and new exchange has been very very good um platforms and i think that is where many of these platforms are going to go so far now there are some of the icus that are actually coming up on the um up uh, on the one shame um, platform one of them is utop so utop is a tourism shame that uh that every individual can free can be can be free to use their own travel service or products like etiquette and all that you can shake them up we have Ospark. so Ospark is a um kind of win-win mushua content sharing network and then you have um game bank so game bank is an open transparent non-medium uh, gaming blockchain that every player or content provider game service are free to play on this chain then you have uh, Abacus. So Abacus is an op open protocol for services that facilitate financial agreements on the blockchain. So it, it breaks things like KYC, risk assessment, appraisal, and all that. So it's just going to remove uh, the middleman. Then you have the Crypto Curve. So you find the blockchain activities of uh, blockchain investment. The Curve Wallet is building. The premier gateway into the uh, crypto the browser to blockchain and all that so there are many things that are actually um coming in store for this uh this platform so one chain is actually really really um pushing this stuff and then one of the platforms are actually like if it's launch it's the freedom so the freedom wants to focus on africa and just like you have the Sentinel, uh, Sentinel chain, Sentinel chain is simply involved with how do we um, make the 
the tools that people actually have make them uh, very good in terms of giving loans to people. So you have people who have livestock. Okay, let's start this livestock with um, FID ships and then uh, use blockchain to actually secure the NFT and all that. So what freedom, uh, free, uh, freedom wants to do, wants to bring the system here, there are people who have commodity and all that. Why don't we make this commodity collateral and give people loan and we can actually liberate uh, Africa from many of these platforms. So it's a very, very um, big platform. So the uh, one chain is a platform that has the ability to connect all the world's assets. It solves the interoperability problem to create a dis uh, distributed, decentralized, private financial environment that would transform the digital economy. So they have many, um, many, many uh, competitors already. You have uh, Repo, you have Ethereum, you have uh, Neo, you have Stella, and all that. So there is plenty of uh, of things in store for the platform. There's a lot of partnerships that are coming up, um, and then they have the incubator team. Now, more, I think one of the major things that was going to drive this platform is the One Lab incubator. That is one of the key. If you look at many of these projects, if you look at like Ethereum, you have Ethereum, you have the consensus and all these platforms. If you have an incubator, people will be willing to build things and all that. So this platform is really, really uh, pushing, pushing the limits. So guys, that is all I have to say about this uh, one chain. Do I be very good? So if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. It do I be very good.